What if the most important event in human history is happening right now, completely hidden behind the sun? We are currently tracking an interstellar object that has less than a 1 in 10 quadrillion chance of being a natural phenomenon. Today, October 29th, 2025, that very object 3, I divided by Atlas, reached its closest, most critical point to our star. And we couldn't see a thing. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb is sounding the alarm and we need to get straight into what is happening. Today, October 29th, 2025, at 7.47 a.m. Eastern Time, the interstellar object 3i divided by Atlas reached its perihelion. That is the closest point to our star in its trajectory. According to JPL Horizons data, the timing was calculated with a precision of just a few minutes, marking a historic moment for astronomy. But there's a problem, a big one. At this exact moment, 3i divided by Atlas is completely hidden from our terrestrial telescopes, concealed behind our star. This isn't just bad luck. It's a scientific blind spot at the worst possible time. The physics of this encounter is what everyone wants to see. Is this object an engine firing up? Is it a natural object breaking apart under stress? Uh, the data we are missing is the very data that could answer the biggest questions we have. We don't know what happened to 3, I divided by Atlas at perihelion, as it's hidden from our terrestrial telescopes behind our star, reveals astrophysicist Avi Loeb on his Medium blog. This situation creates a unique scientific tension. Precisely at the most critical moment of the object's passage, when it's being heated by 770 watts per square meter, we cannot observe it. If 3, I divided by Atlas is a natural comet, held together by weak forces, this intense heating may be fragmenting it at this very moment, creating a spectacle invisible to our eyes. But if it is not a natural comet, this intense solar bath could be exactly what it wanted. It could be a gravitational slingshot maneuver combined with a solar energy bath, perhaps to power its systems or to propel it onward. We are stuck waiting for it to emerge from the other side and we can only guess what it will look like when it does. Loeb uh, calculated today a fascinating missed opportunity. If Earth were on the opposite side of its orbit, where it was six months ago, or will be in six months, we could have mapped three. I divided by Atlas with radar systems. In that hypothetical position, the object would have passed just 54 million kilometers, that's about 34 million miles, from Earth, allowing existing radar systems to detect and image it. This would give us direct measurements of its size and three-dimensional images of its shape through multiple captures during its 16.2 hour rotation. Think about what that means. We wouldn't just have a fuzzy dot of light, we would have a shape. We could finally see if this is a potato-shaped rock or something more um, manufactured we could bounce signals off it to determine its exact contours. This lost chance is a significant blow to our data gathering efforts. Unfortunately, even at Earth's closest approach on December 19, 2025, uh, the distance of 269 million kilometers, that's over 167 million miles, makes radar detection unfeasible. Following recent revelations about the object's anomalies, radio observers around the world have been mobilized for continuous monitoring. Uh, Congresswoman Anna Palina Luna is actively assisting to have the high-rise images from October 2nd, 2025 uh, released to the scientific community. Scientists are looking for specific signals. They're looking for deliberate maneuvers. The release of mini probes, radio transmissions, artificial lights, or excess heat from possible engines. This is the scientific method in action. You don't just assume it's alien, you create a list of testable techno signatures. Each one of these probes, radio heat, is a falsifiable claim. If we see any of them, the conversation changes overnight. If we see none of them, it strengthens the natural but very weird hypothesis. This monitoring is absolutely critical. But what exactly is 3, I divide by Atlas? Discovered as the third known interstellar object, 
it quickly became the most enigmatic on the list. With an estimated minimum diameter of 5 kilometers, that's about 3.1 miles, 3i divided by Atlas is 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua and 1,000 times larger than 2i divided by Borisov. To put its magnitude in perspective, our largest rocket, the Starship, is 100 times smaller than this mysterious object. Avi Loeb classified 3i divided by Atlas with a score of 4 on the Lobo scale, where 0 is definitely natural and 10 is definitely technological. This classification is based on 8 statistically impossible anomalies that challenge our understanding of natural comets. This Lobo scale is a conceptual tool Loeb uses to categorize objects based on their deviation from natural behavior. A score of 4 isn't a final judgment, it's a powerful statement of high strangeness. It means the object has piled up so many weird characteristics that the natural explanation is becoming statistically strained and improbable. Um, first anomaly, its trajectory is aligned to just 5 degrees from the ecliptic plane of the planets. The probability of this is only 0.2%. For an object coming from deep interstellar space, where direction should be completely random, this precise alignment is extraordinary. The ecliptic plane is where all planets orbit, and natural objects from other stars shouldn't know about this specific orientation. It's as if the object had been deliberately directed to follow the rules of our solar system. Second anomaly, during July and August 2025, it exhibited a jet directed toward our star. This is anti-tail behavior, never observed in natural comets. Comets always develop tails that point away from our star due to solar radiation pressure. This is a fundamental physical law. 3, I divided by Atlas, did the opposite, creating a jet directed straight toward our star, defying established cometary physics. Uh, this behavior suggests some type of active propulsion or internal mechanism that contradicts non-natural processes. Third anomaly, its extraordinary mass moving faster than similar objects. The probability of this is less than 0.1%. Larger objects in interstellar space normally move slower due to the gravitational dynamics of their origin regions. Three I divided by Atlas breaks this rule, being simultaneously much more massive and faster than its predecessors. This specific combination of characteristics suggests a non-natural origin or propulsion. Fourth anomaly, perfect timing to pass close to Mars, Venus and Jupiter while remaining invisible from Earth at perihelion, the probability of this is 0.005%. The temporal precision of this sequence of planetary approaches is mathematically almost impossible for a natural object. Additionally, being hidden from Earth during the most critical observation moment seems too convenient to be a coincidence. It's as if uh, the object had planned a route that maximized planetary exploration while minimizing terrestrial detection. Fifth anomaly. The gaseous plume contains much more nickel than iron, similar to artificially produced industrial alloys, the probability is less than 1%. This metal proportion is characteristic of terrestrial um, industrial processes, not natural cosmic formation. Furthermore, the nickel cyanide ratio is orders of magnitude greater than any known comet, including 2i divided by Borisov. The composition suggests processed or refined materials, not the random mixture expected from natural objects. Sixth anomaly. It contains only 4% water by mass, contrasting dramatically with typical comets that are mostly ice. Um, comets are fundamentally dirty snowballs composed of 80 to 90% water ice. Three, I divided by Atlas challenges this basic definition, being almost completely devoid of the most fundamental component of comets. This dry composition is more consistent with metallic asteroids or artificial objects than with natural comets. Seventh anomaly, it showed extreme negative polarization, unprecedented in all known comets, 
including 2 I divided by Borisov. Light polarization from reflected light reveals fundamental surface properties of an object. No natural comet has ever exhibited this specific type of optical signature. This unique characteristic suggests a surface or structure completely different from any known cometary material. Eighth anomaly. It arrived from the direction of the famous WOW signal with 9 degree precision. The probability of this is 0.6%. The 1977 WOW signal remains the most mysterious and potentially artificial radio transmission ever detected. The directional correlation between 3, I divided by Atlas, and this historical source is statistically significant. This coincidence suggests a possible connection between two of modern astronomy's greatest mysteries. Multiplying all these small probabilities, the cumulative chance of all these anomalies occurring naturally is less than one part in 10 quadrillion. This number is so small that it defies any explanation based on coincidence or chance. This is the core of the anomaly argument. In science, one anomaly is a puzzle. Two is a coincidence. Eight, that is a pattern. When the odds of a natural explanation become this astronomically low, science requires us to start considering alternative hypotheses, even if those hypotheses are extraordinary. So what are we looking for now? If 3i divided by Atlas performs maneuvers, releases mini probes, or transmits radio signals, we will know it is of technological origin. Other technological signatures include artificial lights or excess heat from an engine. If it's a natural comet, the intense heating at perihelion may fragment it, creating cosmic fireworks with a much brighter plume of gas and dust. We'll be watching for this as it emerges from behind the Sunday. Um, we have to collect as much data as possible to discover the nature of this anomalous object, emphasizes Loeb. The implication of alien technology would be enormous, and therefore we must take this possibility seriously. If 3 I divided by Atlas is technological, its creators master capabilities that go far beyond our current technologies. The big lesson here is about scientific curiosity and intellectual courage. Regardless of whether 3 I divided by Atlas is a natural comet or something else entirely, the process of science demands that uh, we follow the data even when, and especially when it leads to uncomfortable or extraordinary conclusions, it's easy to dismiss anomalies. It's much harder and much braver to investigate them. What do you think? Is 3 I divided by Atlas the most important discovery in human history? Or is it just a very, very weird space rock? Let me know your theory in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for all the updates on this incredible and developing story.